Hello everybody, this is Miss T. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to pull a simple design off of a t-shirt image. This is a picture uh, of a shirt that my friend girl took for me and she sent it over to me. She needs a shirt for tomorrow for church and I'm going to, you know, do it for her. I don't like to do stuff like this, but I was thinking about um, how a lot of times people come in and they want you to pull an image off of a shirt so I thought I'd go in and show those of you who don't know how to do it how to do it real quick so I've got the shirt the first thing I'm gonna do is well I'm gonna lock and take all of this and move it and lock it okay this doesn't work for every shirt but sometimes it will and sometimes it won't so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop it okay the second thing I always like to do is I notice that if my background is lighter than my foreground I can usually copy that image which means I'm gonna invert this go up here to transform invert colors and now I can see it much better uh, from looking at this I know that I can that I can work with it the image is kind of you know Cricut but we'll fix that later so I like to use what's called a uh, tone curve and it's under effects suggest and then you're gonna go to tone curve it's a way of uh, lightening up the colors on the shirt let's move that over okay so I'm gonna select it here and I'm gonna brighten that okay and hopefully that's not too bright but I think I can work with that so let's go in from here I'm gonna take this image and I'm gonna go in and edit bitmap now when you use this convert to bitmap and you do a black and white bitmap here um, now we can leave that on when you do a black black and white bitmap here you don't have any control over what you get and I don't really need this to be 300 dpi because it's gonna take a long time so uh, um, I don't think it's going to get just super crisp, but let's see. So we convert to black and white. Um, if I was to go up to edit bitmap and then convert it over to black and white, that way I'd get a much, uh, much better output because I can control the level of black that I would get, the, uh, the darkness. But for this video, I'm going to do it like this. Okay, so now I have the black and white image. So you see where I'm going. Okay. So now that I've got the black and white image, I'm just going to do a straight line across here. Um, let's do a dark color so that I can straighten this image up. I'm not going to always be 100% straight, but... If I had this font in my computer, I would go in and just type this font and go from there. But I'm pretty sure that I don't have this one. Um, I'll go in and let's see, let me edit, change that just a little bit more. You can also do that from up here. So let's go to make that a seven see what happens nope that went too high go to a nine okay that's pretty good for the bottom so what I'm going to do now I'm going to select this and I can either trace this or go in and copy and paste it I think I'm gonna actually what I'm gonna do is Go in and make that fit the top because this eye is connected to this and I wouldn't be able to change it so let's just go in and do that even it out there oh and you gotta just play with it until you get it um, how you want it to be. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. That's pretty. 
that's good enough for me right there okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this image I'm going to go control D and I'm going to put a copy over here to the side okay just in case I need it somewhere at some point in here I would go in and I would save this but I've already done this so I'm going to save it in between um, because Corel backs up like every five minutes and I'm at a crucial point here that I wouldn't want to turn around. So let's go here and let's hit outline and I'm just going to do an outline trace on it. Sometimes I'll do multiple color images like this too, especially if they're images that aren't touching or I know that I can pull the colors from. And I'm going to take remove background. Well, that's on. I'll just leave it on. And let this trace. Okay. So once it's traced, I'm going to go here. I'll go ahead and delete that now. And. I'll look at the other one and look at that one and see what I think and I'm pretty happy so I'm just gonna go here arrange it I group everything I'm gonna get rid of this Ashton up here and I'm gonna type Deborah she wants her name on the shirt so I'm just gonna type Deborah and looks like they used a bold font so and uh, it's probably just an aerial black type Deborah, and I'll make it a little bit like that. Okay. And that's about a five inch Deborah. I don't want it to be that big. Take it in and see here. This is what I'm looking at. So I want this to be over in that pocket area. Okay. And I want it to be about an inch. So that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, take it here, select it all, bring it down, and go ahead and put it on my paper. Okay. Just kind of go in and do that. Kind of get it to the size that I want it to be. Now I'm going to just kind of zoom in so you can see what we're working with. It's pretty good. It's pretty even. Um, only thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to, let's see, did I already separate everything? Yeah, I did. So I can go here and I can straighten this out. Oh, went a little bit too far. Like I said, normally I would, um, so the way they took the, the picture off of the shirt, but you know what they say, garbage in, garbage out. Sorry, Deb. Um, but I want to show you how to do it if you didn't have the font. So there we go. That's done. And um, I would just print that out. what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and unlock that one. And I'll just use this one since I've already added the name to it. And that's how you take the name off of a shirt. Or an uh, image off of a shirt. And go ahead and unlock everything. Arrange going to unlock all. Um, that's how it's done. If you have any questions, you know, you can always email me. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.